Welcome back to the Goons Podcast, the only podcast that has zero structure, and all we do is just talk about dumb stuff and never... Just... See, that's more accurate. That's the that's point a, of a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I'm that's never going to say anything clever just... ever again. You, you never, never did in the first place. Welcome to Talk <laughs> Hour. Hour of talk. <laughs> One hour of talk. Four men. Speaking. Currently speaking. Saying words. Anybody else got any Cast words you want to say? where we pod. Yeah. Word time. <laughs> it's hour long word time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What the hell was that? Just fall asleep. Just <laughs> <laughs> snoring out of nowhere. <laughs> Geriatric dude just fell asleep in his like little m- chair. Mid laugh, just falls asleep. <laughs> you know that was kind of scary. You know what else is scary? Uh, Halloween. Good. Halloween. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 boy, I said the oh, world's wait. spookiest podcast. Ooh. Oh wow! Yeah, start it over. This, start it well, over. Is this going to be our Halloween special? Are we yeah. are we special? I, close welcome enough? Yes. to the witching hour. <laughs> what are we talking are about? We burning people? Witches and ghouls and, and, and ghostly, ghastly ghosts. Burning Ooh, women alive who can read. Ooh, and do math. I'm a scary ghost. I'm a scary ghost. Ooh. All right. Anyway. Ooh. Have you guys okay, ever please. had any experiences with the undead? I I <laughs> actually have. Um, what? I've, I've had some like. Well, the thing is, my mom came back to laugh. I don't really believe in ghosts anymore. But when I was younger, my mom told me about um, an apartment we lived in was haunted. And when I was a kid, I like. Why though? Why was it haunted? When I was a kid, I lived in an apartment, and the apartment that I lived in, like that building, so the apartments were all connected. They were like in like conglomerates of like four. It's That's almost, a big word for you. Almost kind of like condos, I guess. Ooh, and uh, actually, that really conglomerate. That <laughs> four syllable words. <laughs> We're just like scaring all the dumb people. <laughs> yeah, all the low IQ people shook right now. Well, that's all of our viewers. So. Just our, yeah, our audience. Yeah. Oh, sorry, chat. Go ahead, McNasty. Uh, anyways, <laughs> when I was um, there's chat. When I the building that I lived in had burned down at one point in the past and then they rebuilt it but there was a couple in that building that died from that fire and uh my mom just like she Mm. she she told me that she had like some serious like like paranormal experiences like she said at one time she was in the shower and like all of a sudden the shower like uh what is it called the shower curtain just like fell just like boom but it didn't like oh, okay. it didn't just fall gravity down. it kind Ooh. of like <laughs> <laughs> Isaac is, Newton it didn't just ghost fall. making my apple fall it didn't just fall it like wrapped around her like it like fell towards her and uh, she just said that it scared the shit out of her and like attacked and yeah, her that's scary but yeah there had been <laughs> a I'd say ghost well there had been multiple experiences it wasn't just that uh, uh, there was one time where my mom had like the this little fell too. she had like this little uh little orphan annie doll like the little redheaded you know what I'm talking about? God, why would she have that? I don't Those know. things are it scary was, as hell. I think it was like it just like a um it was like a family thing that had just been like passed down. But she 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 told me this is the thing is like she the, the stuff that she told me I never experienced. But she said that she came home one time and the apartment we lived in was a two story apartment. And like the stairs would go one way and then there'd be like a flat spot and then it would go left upwards. And she said that when she opened the door one day when she came home, the doll was just sitting on the top of the stairs. She could just see it just sitting there. And uh, like, bruh. that's odd. Bruh. Yeah. I had, um, am I supposed to say bro too? Chucky vibes. The, the only thing I ever experienced from what I remember being a kid is, uh, sometimes, cause I was really little at these apartments and, uh, I would wake up in the middle of the night, like crying. And my mom would come in my room and she would see like the, the closet door, like swaying back and forth. And I guess she just thought there was like ghosts were like fucking with the door or something. I don't know, but. Yeah, man, they bored as hell. I would have just assumed you shit your pants if you're just sitting there crying in your bed in the middle (laughs) of the night. I I remember my grandma made this like spray, and I guess it was just like some vanilla spray, and she put like little pictures of like cartoon ghosts around the spray, and I she would have me like spray it in the closet before I went to bed. Anti ghost to like help. (laughs) What was like something you do for a kid to like help the kid like relieve anxiety? I guess so. Like I had this like vanilla good smelling spray that I would just in the closet prevent the ghosts i just do that with windex spray it down my throat <laughs> spray it. wait okay Keep the vampires from sucking your blood out if you drink windex <laughs> I, that's that's uh goon's top tip ladies and gentlemen if you have a vampire problem drink windex or just like eat onion probably work too nope 
Nope. It's garlic. It's garlic. Oh, garlic. It's garlic. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> Diane's has nothing to worry about. I just need like a bell pepper. I'll probably go away. Like, ooh, bell pepper. Just a uh, full cucumber. I don't like Mexican just food. Eat it. Yeah, they're white as hell. They can't handle the spice. So. <laughs> Spicy bell pepper. <laughs> of, of a cucumber or the bell pepper? <laughs> well, both. You're white, so. <laughs> All right. That's a bit of a stretch. White people cannot My handle butthole. the spice of cucumbers. Have you guys ha- ever had any kind of like beyond the world experiences? I used to like, <laughs> I used to go like ghost hunting, convince myself I saw a ghost, but I knew I didn't. Like we wouldn't, we wouldn't even go like anywhere very scary. We just like go in my friend's basement at like 2 a.m., shut the lights off and be like, yeah, it's a ghost. <laughs> 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 like somebody would throw a fork at the wall and we'd be like, the way that fork fell means ghost. And it's like, okay. <laughs> About as legit as those ghost hunting shows, bro. <laughs> yeah, honestly. No, but it was, I don't know. It was fun as hell. And like. You'd, you'd like fake yourself so much into believing that something was like actually a ghost that you, you still got like the fear of it, even mm-hmm. though you like Loki knew it was fake. You like, I don't know, you still got that adrenaline. So it's super fun. But like, I don't know, we used to like just go in the forest at nighttime and like one of us would have a flashlight and just be like, yeah, we're like hunting ghosts. And you'd be like, oh, my God, did you guys see that? Even though we saw nothing. And everyone would be like, yeah, dude, I saw it. And just like all get freaked out. It was super fun and stupid, but I don't know. Nothing like I've never had anything like real other than like. I don't know. I, I swear to God, I saw something once when I was a kid, but I just like never. I don't know. It's so easy when you're a kid because you have such an active imagination that yeah. like you could convince mm-hmm. yourself of anything. Like my parents told me like where I live, uh, there was like I live right on the border of U.S. And during the Civil War and stuff and like even when like like colonialism was happening, like a lot of natives died where I live. So my like parents told me that and like told me the history of where we are. And, like, so I'd convince myself that I saw, like, native people ghosts, but they'd be, like, the most generic-looking native people things ever. So I'm just like, yeah, I definitely imagined that when I was a kid. Like, it'd just be, like, this generic male with a headdress on. (laughs) Yeah, literally. (laughs) Like, shit like that. Mm. So, I don't know. But uh, there was one time I was older. I I feel like I told this story on the podcast, but I can't remember. I was older, and this was, like, maybe a year ago. And I was walking, I always walk through the forest at night, it's just like calm and peaceful and shit. And I saw this like, it looked like a person, which didn't really scare me. But, there, I don't know, it was so weird. It looked like they were like 8 feet fucking tall. And just like looking at me. And I didn't want to look too long because I thought it was another person, so I was kind of like, what the fuck? <laughs> just like put my head down and kept walking, but I just kept looking back. And it looked like the perfect outline of a person just like standing there in the middle of a forest. And I was just so fucking freaked out. I was like, nah. So I just like got out of there as quick as I could. And I just came back and like joined Discord with Bies and was telling him about it. But I don't know. It was fucking, it was scary. I don't know why. It's just like, I don't know, maybe because I played Slenderman as a kid. I thought like, I don't know. I just, I just connected a tree to being Slenderman. But I mean, that's about it. That's all I've had. Nothing like like crazy person shit yeah tree, it could probably yeah it very easily could have been but i was just <clears throat> so fucking like nah i'm out maybe it was like bigfoot but just r- r- like normal sized just like or maybe it was just a random just tall guy just foot. like sitting there just a random tall guy wondering what the fuck i'm doing walking through the forest yeah maybe it was an actual guy he's just like maybe he lives yeah, in that it, area and it's just like uh, yeah, it, it very this, easily could have been a guy <laughs> i just was like nah. doing here. yeah so i don't know nothing crazy <laughs> maybe scary. wanted to peg you i know okay. Old All right. foresty lumberjack manner. That uh, took a hot turn. Into that. No <laughs> <laughs> I would not call that a hot turn, dude. Just a turn. <laughs> Just a turn. When y'all were kids, tell me I'm not the only one, right? So we okay, hold on. Basement. Where are you going here? <laughs> Why did that look? Yeah, you just said you just said pegging. Where are you going here? <laughs> I it's a complete one eighty. I one. promise. I promise it's a complete 180. Okay, all right. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping on on supernatural and just. So spooky. you're pegging the lumberjack, is what you're saying? <laughs> right. You want a right. Ghost I'm not to peg you. Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> like in what scary movie? Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the end. He gets fucked by the demon. Uh, when y'all were kids, though, like, and you're in your basement. Uh, wait. Do y'all have basements in your state? Yeah. No. I know not everybody has basements California in their state. Doesn't have basements. Nope. Okay. I have well. Okay, well then, then maybe Blarg, uh, you'll understand. Like you, you flip the lights off in the basement. Oh, yeah. and you run for your Sprint. life upstairs because the <laughs> demons will kill you. Demons, they'll grab your ankles, bro. You gotta run. Hundred percent. I used to okay. just do that going from my kitchen to my room. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Like anytime There's you're something like, about the basement, dude. Arm full of snacks running through your house, McCaskey. <laughs> <laughs> just hauling ass. Just a 
brick of cheese just fucking sprinting down the hallway. <laughs> brick of cheese and half cooked bacon just like running. those linked sausages that you only see in like cartoons yeah. from the carrier. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like 15 of them all attached. <laughs> Uh, yeah no i definitely used to do that dude i still feel like i need to do that just out of habit where it's like i shut the lights off it's like time to sprint right like i'm a grown-ass dude i know there's no one in my basement but i'm still spooked (laughs) as hell i gotta run wow yeah that's fair yeah all right good point soup thank you for that thank you for thank you for for making me uncomfortable in my own home (laughs) making me think about people breaking into my house thanks man Uh, I think the only like supernatural thing that's ever happened to me is, uh, I've just heard this story cause I was just a, I was just a baby apparently, but apparently parents were driving down the road on a highway behind one of those big trucks that like have a bunch of giant long planks on the back of it that are just sent, kind of oh, like boy. loosely tied down. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, uh, so, so this dude's like, like wire snaps off and his shit's just flying off the truck and like landing on the highway and apparently one came off and was heading down straight towards our windshield and uh for no reason i'm no physicist or anything so i don't know if this makes sense but this thing's coming straight down at (laughs) no it's coming down at our windshield and it just for no reason goes up and over the car like it just defies gravity for no reason whatsoever Oh. So Jesus. It's the only supernatural thing. Jesus. I mean, uh, that was Jesus. What, depending on what Jesus kind of car did. you were driving, um, because there's so much air pressure hitting the front of your car, it creates almost like a <sighs> vortex oh. pushing up. That's so Jesus. Very good easily, enough auto. Thank you. Depend, depending on the size of the board, it could have easily gotten mm-hmm. caught. Nah, that was Jesus. Shooting it straight up. Okay. <laughs> I think it was right. Satan. All right, well, shout out Jesus for saving the dew, and now we get shitty Omega. Thank you, Jesus. Was Iron Man. <laughs> I Iron think it Man. Was Stephen Hawking in his wheelchair. <laughs> he, just, <laughs> he just zoomed up next to the car on the highway. I think it was Nicholas. You're welcome. I did save Seven. you. I will save you. <laughs> like, you owe me forty five dollars. Like All right, now you sound like Plankton's wife. <laughs> What's Plankton's wife's name again? Karen. Karen. Yeah. God, um, you don't know your SpongeBob lore, bro. Yeah, it's just been a long time. I've seen all of it. It's just been forever. What about what about you, Deborah. Soup? You had any any spooky? Not really. I I never really like ever believed in fucking ghosts. So I never imagined <laughs> like a situation where I would like scare myself into thinking a ghost was there or something. Yeah, I used was, to be scared fair. to close my eyes in the shower when I'd wash my hair because I used to that's think Michael logical. Jackson. I used to think Michael Jackson was gonna touch me. Dude, you're right. He could have. I remember. I remember that whole fucking thing when he went like crazy for a bit, held a kid over a balcony. I was so scared of Michael Jackson as a kid. Yeah, me like, too. Dude, I was in terrified my, in of Michael my, Jackson. In my eyes, that's all I had to fear in life. Yeah, was I was Michael like, Jackson. for some reason, I was like, Michael Jackson was the ghost of my like childhood. <laughs> for some reason, <laughs> like I just watched so much of the news, him like holding a yeah. kid over a balcony and then like touching their diddler, and I was like, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, I was like, dude, like, Michael I have to Jackson's watch out for this guy. Catch me. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> uh, there was I don't know it was I forget what ghost show it was but there was one of those super corny shitty ass ghost shows like I think it was like most haunted places whatever something along the mm-hmm. line and there's this road it's like I don't know 15 20 minutes away from me but I needed to go down it um, in order to get to a hockey arena I used to play at and it's called Texas Road and apparently it was super haunted because this girl like killed herself off a bridge or some shit I don't know exactly what it was um, but I used to be scared as fuck driving down that as a kid, but like I'll drive down it now and it's just like the most normal road ever. Like there is nothing even slightly scary about it. It's just, I don't know how they made a whole hour long episode about this road. I never Texas understood road, why, <laughs> like, especially when it comes to things like that, where there's like a ghost haunting, like a town, like why, yeah, like, <laughs> why are you just scared of the whole town now? Like, I don't get it. Well, the thing is, it's, it's like, it, it, is the ghost. Like, I feel like if I were to turn into a ghost. I would want to just like fly to Europe or something, just chill over there. Like, why do I want to sit <laughs> yeah, in this I, I, dirty fucking like country town for the rest of my existence? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I killed myself on this bridge on a shitty little road. <laughs> I'm gonna leave and go to Greece. Like, why would I sit there and piss off people driving by on this road now? Yeah, like, why would I keep myself in the place apparition. I died? <laughs> exactly. I'm angry. Fuck you. I'm going on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys ever? Margaritas. You guys ever hear a red eye? No. No. Well, like, like where I, no, 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 like where I live, it used to be like this wives' tale kind of thing. 
Because it gets like fucking country dark, like so dark sometimes. Like if you're outside with no light, you can't even see your hand in front of you. Mm-hmm. Oh so yeah. Dark. And so people would be like, stuff. "Ooh, you better watch out for red eye," because <laughs> they would like it was. <laughs> Isn't that the uh, reindeer from? Oh yeah, no, that's, that's red nose. Red nose. Red oh, eye yeah. was like. You'd see like two red eyes. You just you Rudolph the eyes. red eye reindeer <laughs> smoke pot. Yeah, Rudolph's his eye is shit. <laughs> just some old far with glaucoma just walking around town at night. <laughs> Dude, my fucking great grandmother used to do some weird like voodoo witch kind of shit what the fuck? that would yeah. freak me out. Like so. Dude, I don't even know how to describe this. So we're talking like old ass. Southern fucking woman. She used Dude, to do this thing. Those are scariest people. <laughs> Old she used to be able to do this thing where she could like, she called it talking a wart off of someone. So like people, <laughs> dude, I swear to God, listen to this crazy shit, right? So people from like all around, like in the neighborhood or something, would come to her if they got a wart on them because she could make their wart go away. And I don't know, how, she she would get like a pocket knife and a, a just pack. chop it off. <laughs> no, yeah, no, she she would get a pocket knife and a match and she would like like rub the person's wart or something and she'd be like mumbling under her breath like while rubbing the wart like, blah, 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 like <laughs> saying something and then she'd take the match and like cut some ends off of it with the pocket knife and like set it down and she'd be like yeah your wart's gonna be gone in like two days and it worked dude it fucking worked I watched her do this shit and people their warts would go away and I'm like what kind of southern voodoo shit she probably just has like doing? she probably has a box of matches and just rubs like wart medicine on each match yeah literally yeah. <laughs> <laughs> honestly could have been but dude it was so weird like if it was just that then why did people come to get her to do it <laughs> did she, because she they just had didn't OP know. wart they didn't medicine know. they thought she was actually a wizard yeah <laughs> if if she if she was doing uh, this shit in 2020, she could have done like gender reassignment, just like rubbed a dick with a match. <laughs> 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 fucking David Blaine who? My great grandmother can fucking talk yeah. works off, bro. Talk about something. <laughs> Should have had a YouTube channel. <laughs> Dude, it's that's so funny weird, though. Man. I I I don't I I don't know. Like I've never met this person, but apparently I had a great grandmother who made potions, and she lives out in the deep south. So I had a very similar. Dude, I we have a very similar family some, tree. I think back in the deep south. Back in the day, dude, I think they did some weird shit. Well, yeah, yeah, it was it was cool. They were either like super cool, like witchcraft people, or like let's hang people who look different kind of people. Yeah. Like there, there was one or the other. The deep south was either cool as fuck or like Jesus Christ. Yeah, wasn't it wasn't nuked. a lot of. Well, like I mean, the... they couldn't go to doctors, so I mean, they had to like do yeah. their own shit. They had to fucking... improvise. Wasn't a lot of like magic. the old like witch <laughs> stuff like based in like like Virginia and stuff. I know it was like very no it was it was like no it was like louisiana and like all those areas well i mean like yeah. southern like that was like a that was like a southern thing like burn the witch at the stake he's she, no she can oh, read. oh no you're talking about like r- witches and stuff i thought yeah. you meant like that's like, like Salem, black Massachusetts. magic yeah that's yeah that's yeah Massachusetts, oh yeah where they used to just like yeah she can do eight plus eight let's fucking kill her <laughs> yeah, <that kind> of <laughs> shit. i mean they kind of kinda had a good idea going <laughs> yeah. uh, i don't know about that i wonder if there's like now more dumb woman than smart woman in Massachusetts because like the breeding pool removed all the smart woman. I don't think it works. They were getting I don't hard. think. Yeah. I mean, you really think we retarded there, no, down here, boy? No, they're dude. They, okay, no, they're. Uh, I forget what country it was, but they had a leader who literally killed like anybody who was like remotely smart. He killed a lot of other people too. Like he killed Kim like Jong-un. people from other races, and, like <laughs> handicaps. No. He would kill anybody that was even remotely intelligent. And now, like, that was, I think, like, 60-something years ago. And now, because of that, the population oh, is genuinely dumber. Oh. Because they've just taken out all of the smart people from the breeding pool. There's now just... <laughs> You're in South Carolina. Must have been one of them. Yeah, the, <laughs> what? yeah as Blarg just said, taken out. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say taken out? <laughs> it was my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> there I was. Took My grandma out. was took it out. Yeah, right, rest in peace, grandma. <laughs> no, it's some, uh, it some Asian country. I don't remember which one it was. I think it was on the border of Vietnam. North those Korea. Ah, they're probably still all very smart, considering. Yeah, I know. You, you, what, what did they lower them from? 300 IQ down to 290? Oh. Yeah, let's, let's try to tame them a little bit. God, let's get them in the high 200s. Oh, it's fucked. He can't do calculus. He can only do pre-calculus. Oh, what's up? <laughs> and back to spooky. Okay. Well, I was going to segue off of that. What's 
all of your favorite scary movies to watch around Halloween? Mm, probably like uh, House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects. I can never okay, get tired of that. You had that written down. Hubie's Halloween. <laughs> no, dude, that movie was so bad. I've never it seen was, Halloween, dude. It was so bad. Goosebumps with Jack Black. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that's fire. Hmm. <laughs> No, I genuinely uh, fucking love Rob Zombie's movies. They're so good to me. I don't think I don't think I've seen any of them. Oh, you got it. Like they're there's how they're, old are they? House of a Thousand Corpses is pretty old. But Devil's Rejects is like I think like mid two thousands. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, uh, they're really uh, good. they're good because they're not like like they're they're pretty gory, especially the first one. But they just have a really good storyline. The first one's kind yeah. of hard to like. It's kind of all over the place, but the second one really ties everything together, and makes it really good. But those are definitely 100% my hmm. favorite horror movies. I'll definitely hmm. have to uh, have to watch it. I liked, uh, I think it was called The Conjuring. Hold on, let me see. I've, I, I like I've Boo, one too. Uh, a Medea Halloween. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. Why is that? Medea. <laughs> Fair enough. Big black woman is not really a woman. Whoa. No, no, it wasn't The Conjuring. I don't know if you guys would know this. It's The dude was a writer, and he like moved to a town and like he writes about murders that have happened um like and then he tries to solve them like if they're unsolved and shit and he moved to this new city and and i don't know there's like a kid killing its parents and all this fuck mm. shit yeah the country um, is like a possessed yeah, demon it's not movie the conjuring. yeah I, I don't know but the <clears throat> that movie was good the conjuring like, was good i'm trying to think of what the fuck this movie was called I'm sure somebody in the comments section will know it, but Do you I, don't guys know. Know. I love scary movies, but I can't, I can't, like, I hate, like, the stupid jump scary ones and nothing. Yeah, that those, scares. like, those aren't even fun. Like, I just, I just don't find them scary. Like, I don't jump at jump scares because they're so predictable. So to me, they're just bad movies. The only <laughs> time like, I jump mm. at a jump scare is when it's not something scary. Like, really? I remember I watched, like, Texas Chainsaw <laughs> Massacre, and there was this one point where, like, this raccoon jumped out and, like, scared the shit out of me. <laughs> or, like, like oh when God. you're editing. <laughs> you're like editing a video and you burp out of nowhere it just scares the shit out of you like <laughs> i don't watch enough horror movies to know i don't really watch yeah, a lot yeah. of movies no, i haven't I seen don't. a ton of horror movies either yeah is that just because you're like not I interested the in last... them or they just like give you nightmares just no <laughs> i'm just not interested i don't know uh, same it's I'm... just not if i'm gonna sit down and watch a movie it's probably gonna be something funny not not anything scary yeah. i'm very picky about scary movies like I have just, you there's... seen uh human centipede <laughs> yeah, the first one was good. The second and third one were awful. I didn't see the second and and third They're one, but uh, I was I was at my girlfriend's house and she's just like, "Hey, you want to watch this movie, the scary movie?" I was like, "Sure." She pulls out the Human Centipede, and we skip scary film. It it no, I thought it's it was hilarious. Gross. I was just yeah, laughing the whole time because the idea of a dude getting shit in his mouth and then mm-hmm. shitting into somebody else's mouth that was just funny as hell to me. Did you ever see the South Park rendition of that movie? No. <laughs> God, <laughs> any of you else seen that? <laughs> I have not seen it, but well, that like the, like so it's like mess. the the Asian dudes in the front, and then Kyle's in the middle, and then the girls in the back, and like they go to give the food to the Asian guy, and he has to choose between chocolate pudding and cuttlefish, and he's like, Kyle, what do you want? He's just like he's just mumbling like chocolate pudding, chocolate pudding. He's like cuttlefish, okay, cuttlefish, and he just starts eating the cuttlefish, and immediately. Just start shitting in the guy's mouth. God, that mouth. show is literally just you. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. I know. I love South Park. Family that's, Guy in South Park. That's where I get McNasty. so much of my like, just like very, very fucked up humor from. <laughs> I mean, it's a good show. I just, it's not for me. I've now tried it watching sucks. it so many times. Everything is just so political it. now. Like back when it used to be like actually like fucked up humor. Now it's just like. Oh, Obama election. Oh, Trump election. Oh, it's, yeah, it's just it's because South Park like. They they make new episodes every week. Like they start in the first beginning of the week and finish an episode by the end of the week. So they're always like trying to keep up with like current shit. And they're Jeez, just like that's a lot of work. Fuck that. Yeah, but that's why they're able to make like like you'll you'll hear something about it like in the middle of the week and they'll they'll have an episode ready like by the next week of that what they just happened. Have a fucking shit ton of writers. Yeah, they do. They probably have a sweatshop. Dude, they're, that show is fucking hilarious shit. though. You know, like the scam fucking jewelry uh, mm-hmm. infomercials that play late at night. Yeah, there was yeah. one episode I watched that was based off of that. Mm-hmm. Dude, that shit had me dying. And I don't really laugh at many like I don't know cartoons. Like I'll I'll kind of like ha huh, or whatever you know. Exhale out your nose. Yeah, at the very end they make the South like, Park QVC guy fucking... shoot himself in the head. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was that one. I was fucking dying, dude. <laughs> 
They were just like I, calling, like kept calling repeatedly, and he was just like, it reminded me of something that we would do because yeah. he was like well, calling make someone in. shoot themselves in the head. <laughs> yeah, he, he was calling and just like, why don't you just uh, go yourself? He was like, okay, we're gonna keep here talking about jewelry. He was like, no, no, why don't you just uh, go yourself? <laughs> I just, it went on for so long. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, I remember the name on... of the film that I like, Sinister. By the way, oh, I have seen that. That's good. Very, yeah, that's yeah. a really good film because it's like it's not jump scary. It's not jump scary. It's very like uh, I don't know. It's just like creepy. Yeah. Like just a lot of the cinematics they use are very very good. And it just builds like a super creepy atmosphere rather than just being like ah scary face. Are you yeah. guys gonna go trick or tweeting? <laughs> uh, no, because no, only because I tried to. I tried to go when I was like twenty. And I didn't dress up, and everyone always asked what I was, and I just said I was just like a middle upper class white kid, and they would put they would either put candy in my bag or nothing, because they didn't like my costume. So after that, I decided to. You call should have just day. said I'm an Arab, and I'm gonna blow up unless you give me candy. I'm just wearing a bomb vest to their door, not even a fake one. <laughs> <laughs> Full oh, legitimate, that's a realistic ID. costume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put the fucking candy in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys gonna dress up or anything? Yeah, I'm gonna be a Mexican princess. I thought you already were. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I really want to dress up as a minion. There's nothing to do because it's COVID. You can't really do anything. Yeah, you can still you dress just, up like, and have fun. Just sit at your dress desk up and... and get hammered in a costume yeah. for some reason. I don't know <laughs> why not. <laughs> What's better than that? <laughs> when I when I was a kid, I was a ninja for Halloween for like twelve straight Whoa. years. <laughs> I was Mario. I, I I'm that. not surprised by that. I'm There's this video of me running either. around in my yard and I just eat shit and I fall over. I was wearing like these <laughs> last, big it ass was last work year. Boots. <laughs> I was an M and M when I was a kid. God, <laughs> like a big one old time I was lose a, clues. One time I was a Christmas tree in a play at my school. <laughs> <laughs> were you actually? I was. <laughs> you were one of those kids where they just uh, had no discernible talent, so they made him be a tree. Did you stand tree. still and say nothing? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> so they couldn't use a prop they use an actual kid <laughs> people come up to you after the play dude I loved your part in the play bro that's if you're autographed you're like six you years killed old. it when you were like <laughs> <laughs> when that breeze came and you went that was awesome oh. <laughs> god that is uh, I, I, I was never in a grade school play or anything yeah, I remember they did one they did one for like, like I went to a Catholic grade school, but I was like pretty much atheist from like grade seven on. And in grade eight, they wanted everybody to do like this Jesus play and like reenact it on Easter. And I, I didn't want to do it at all. So I told my mom and she wrote a note to the school <laughs> saying that I didn't have to do the play because I didn't believe in Jesus. <laughs> and they just yeah, said, okay. wasn't I should have just made it be a Roman. Awesome. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to be the Roman guy. Just stab Jesus. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, that would have been great. I wish you wrote that note now. <laughs> I was a train in the 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 Christmas movie. What's it called? The, the Christmas movie with the train. What's Thomas the, the the Polar Express <laughs> edition. Polar Express. Yeah, you I were was. A I train? was. I was a train. Yeah, I I held so the. Did you have people like entering you? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, just gaped ass. <laughs> it all just, it just plenty of man. Yeah. Yeah, I, I held I held a big piece of cardboard that was a train. That, that was my part in a play. So I was I was similar to you, Soup. I had no discernible skills. So they said you. Have to say <laughs> I wish, dude. I would have had a line at least, but no. You didn't yeah, have just, a line. You just walked around. I guess the train wouldn't have a line. Yeah. I am Hello, a train. I am a train. Walks off stage. Yeah, yeah walks off stage. <laughs> Stop, bitches! Train here. You just dab a bunch of times and leave. Uh. That had not yeah. been invented yet. I was six. That was still called <laughs> sneezing when we yeah. were in school. You know what I actually thought about the other day? Okay, you know how, like, because of the pandemic, they tell you not to, like, shake hands with somebody, so you, like, bump elbows, mm -hmm. right? Like, but the thing is, we sneeze and cough into our elbows now. So you, we are now doing the same thing we would have been doing if we were shaking hands. I sneeze into my crotch. <laughs> I sneeze on the back of my tap. balls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, oh, me yeah. and the gays been doing that for years. Now, all of a sudden, I'm <laughs> not, you guys want to. Now you guys want to get, get on meta. We'll, we just, won't get COVID. We'll just get AIDS. <laughs> we'll just get right. shit dick. <laughs> I just don't touch people. That's my thing. Just okay, don't. That's fair. Don't touch a person ever. Like literally ever, even after COVID. Just don't touch people. I right, do. Are you? Are you okay? 
What the hell? <laughs> this is getting you, sad. Is everything okay at home, Nick Nasty? <laughs> Are mom and dad fighting? <laughs> the fuck was all that about it? I don't know. Just don't touch people. People are gross. People are gross. People. Ain't that right? Dude? All right. Well, that's. Why do you? Why do you keep bringing Do in? It hasn't touched uh, a person ever. What do you mean? He uh -huh, sits Virgin on Doomer's lap every day. Virgin what do you mean? Virgin. Stop. I'm, I'm actually leaving the call. Virgin Gay Virgin. <laughs> gay Virgin. Uh, I can't believe he's the two worst things. Whoa. <laughs> it's a joke. Whoa. That's a Whoa, joke. Wow. We're gonna do like that you do coming from a Canadian. Whenever we make jokes like that, we're gonna do how you do. Whoa! You cannot Whoa. say that. Whoa. 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 I am not here for that. Ooh. I am uploading all of the uh, blackmail folders to Twitter right now. Um, I hate all of you. I don't like the way you said black. I don't like the way you said. You mean African American folders? Anyway, I, ghost. I don't yeah, have anyway, a comment ghosts and on that. Ghosts and ghasts and and uh, spooky haunted Ooh, pumpkin stuff. Pumpkin faces on them. Ooh. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Candy corn. Ew, shut and up. What God, is wrong joking. with you? I like candy corn. You're such an elitist when it comes to all kinds of food, and then when it comes to candy, you're like, true. Oh, but what, okay, but what other, like, one. Halloween candy is there? You can't call bite-sized. Reese's? Reese's, those, Kit those Kat, exist Crunch all year. Bar, Hershey Bars. Okay, okay but they all exist year. around. Okay, but Halloween Reese's, are, yeah, it's better at Halloween. It just is. Okay. Yeah, it's got like the razor blade in it. It's like laced with poison. <laughs> yeah, there's a guac in my candy bar. You got for some, some reason. shady old man giving it to you. I mean, it's just so much better. It's so much more. Yeah, I thought you were talking about like my Skittles. candy that only exists during Halloween. I'm sure you can get well, candy corn even... other times. I don't. Yeah, that's very rare. You don't just see it lying around. Well, in mostly because July. nobody fucking buys it. Right, it's, it's like disgusting. Dog but you shit. see Reese's all the time. Checkmate. Okay. I want people to comment in the chat, in the chat, <laughs> in the in the comment section. Yeah, if they yeah, like, live chat. If they Talk like candy right corn. About it. Also, Amongst everyone yourselves. leave your favorite candy. I know I'm not the, the only person in the world that likes candy corn. I would fucking and, exist. And also yeah, well, my mom likes candy on the back corn. Of your credit card. Candy corn is good. It it's just like sweet little no, sugary dude, bites of no. stuff. Do you guys this like peeps? Dude, no, not really. Like peeps. No. Okay. Why are you the worst person? <laughs> You're literally the worst thing that's happened to this earth. <laughs> you'll you'll make fun of me eat, for eating peanut butter toast, and you and you're over here liking candy corn and peeps and peeps, <laughs> dude. I saw a video of this bitch shoving peeps in her butthole and it dissolved them. Oh, I've watched that. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that's fantastic. Wait, oh, why have you guys all Halloween seen this? It's it's, know, it's 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 unreal how quick the butthole can just absorb food. I was impressed. Dude, you know what? I've seen somebody put a golf ball into an asshole. Put? Yeah, they put a golf ball into a wide open gaping. And it's ass. just like, Vroom. yeah, literally just went right in. I think they put like three. Ooh, oh this is such a spooky story. Link. <laughs> Ooh. Spooky, scary, Ooh. stretched ass. Golf ball, golf and ball in the ass. Uh, all right, Ooh. I want everyone to share something they've done with their butthole that's spooky. Let's start with Blarg. Uh, I, 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 I don't know what would be, what's spooky. <laughs> oh, I have one. I have one. One time I took a shit and I didn't have to wipe. It's like all the poop just like went in the toilet. It's like and the it just, ghost wiped for it's you. It's like it disappeared off my butt cheeks. Ooh. Your butt cheeks? Bro, how messy are you when you why shit it, if it's on why your is butt it on cheeks? Your butt cheeks? Like, the inside of your, like the inside of your ass crack. <laughs> he swings oh. it around. <laughs> yeah, helicopter's a little snake. <laughs> oh my One god. One time I sat down on the toilet and I was going to shit, but it was just a fart. Ooh, ghost. You did that last ghost week and poop. flushed it. <laughs> it flushed the fart. Hey, yeah. I got a good uh, Halloween joke for you guys. Okay. Uh -huh. Bitches be having a million abortions and be wanting their pussy ate. Ain't nobody eating at that haunted house. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, my God. And every single person listening uh. has just put a gun in their mouth. <laughs> and they are up there with all those babies she aborted. <laughs> oh, that was not... Not good. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, you can stop spooky that. Spooky pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the real reason you're a virgin, dude? You're scared of it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it looks like a clown mouth, and clowns are scary. <laughs> Ooh, looks like an RB sandwich. And I'm Do you guys terrible. remember a couple years ago when, like, people were getting killed because they were going around 
as clowns in public. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was like, like, oh, twenty sixteen. Over with cars, yeah. Yeah, that was fucked. What was that? It was about? a good time. That was funny. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I miss Super anything times. before COVID. So, yeah. Remember our biggest issue was just people walking around in clown suits getting hit by yeah. cars because they'd walk out of a cornfield. <laughs> Those were so funny though because like. The person would try to scare somebody and walk out of a cornfield with and a just knife. Die. And, yeah, and the person would just run them over at full speed. It's like, what? what did I you mean, think they had happen? it coming. <laughs> no, seriously, yeah, I'd do the same no. thing. Oh, 100%. I'd speed up. But you were like, me, bitch. I'm not getting stabbed. Yeah. McSkillet yeah. time. Well, that's the thing is, like, you don't know <laughs> when you see a, 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 I almost said a crab, <laughs> when you see a clown yeah. in the street. Those two. <laughs> when, you, when, you oh, see oh, a, yeah. when you see a clown I in the street it. at like three in the morning, the first thing in your mind is this is a threat. Kiss this it. person is going to try and hurt me. Let them in the vehicle and talk. Dude, <laughs> if I see if I see anyone coming out of cornfield, when no matter what they're wearing at three a.m., I'm hitting them with a knife. No matter. Man. You got you got a kid. Doesn't them. matter what they got. Meta. Yeah. Yeah. Meta sometimes they'd be holding like them. bats and shit. Yeah. Like a loaded gun. Yeah. I used to have a ghillie suit, and I would lay down like behind a bush when people would come up for candy on Halloween. <laughs> jump out that was good times why did you have a ghillie suit <laughs> i don't know it was funny did you buy it for that specific reason or just like you just yeah. had a ghillie suit well i played airsoft too so i used to oh, like, you're gonna say i played call of duty 4 and i really like that airsoft one mission was so fun back in the day <laughs> airsoft i, I never, that shit i never played airsoft or See, I, think I, thing, I think i like paintball better yeah the reason i times. stopped playing airsoft dude I, okay so once you go over 18 you can't play airsoft in like a forest anymore like you just you actually get in trouble so you have to go to airsoft fields but the problem is i went to one once and immediately sold all my shit the next day i went there went to play everyone was 40 and giant man babies <laughs> and i was like this is the worst sport on the oh planet. you're in the military bitch i play airsoft yeah that's literally <laughs> the mentality they'd be like Role playing hard as fuck, and I'm just like, dude, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not on this level. We should right all now. go to one of them like, and just like fuck with the people, dude. They <laughs> would get so like real mad. life role play trolling. They will literally <laughs> kick you out instantly. Like they'll team shoot you. The whole team will fucking glock you down. They get so mad. Shoot like, them. This is fucking stupid. Yeah, as a kid, it was super fun when it was just like friends running around in the woods. Yeah, and you just shoot each yeah, other in the forest, and it's like, yeah. When you're a kid, being like role play is so much more. Like interesting when you're 22. We wouldn't even like role play. Mm. We just yeah, like, like you're not even role playing yeah, when you're true. a kid. You're just having fun. Uh, yeah, yeah, you just would shoot your friends and be like, "Yeah, I'm fucking sick." And then when you go there and there's people who are literally middle age accountants and they're fucking role playing as army <laughs> men. Like, bro, stop! You have a family. Like, go home. <laughs> stop doing that. Take care of your kid. <laughs> go feed your family, you fucking weirdo. Like, it's just, I'm all for having fun at whatever age you want, but you don't need to be a sweaty nerd playing yeah, fucking airsoft. I, I, I tried to play paintball, like, a couple years ago, and I was, I was probably, like, just turning 17 at the time. And even then, I was like, man, this is weird. Like, I, even when I was yeah, 17, just, I was like, this just is, I don't like being here <laughs> around these men. Yeah, I just can't deal with the role playing. Like, these it's men just, yelling and running, so, uh, Sliding behind a car at mock yeah, like speed, <laughs> dolphin diving. Like this guy's, <laughs> this guy's forty serious. pounds. This guy's Holy forty shit. pounds overweight. Can't do a push up. Like I want to spectate this fucking, sport, dude. <laughs> no, you don't. It's fu actually you do. It's fun. It'd be funny to spectate, but not to play. I would shoot one of them, like push him down and teabag his ass. Dude, imagine like a YouTuber fucking paintball competition. That'd be fun. there. Yeah, there did is that. Oh, Mr. Beast. Mr. Did Mr. That. Beast. Yeah, oh, of but uh, he did. God, there dude. is some. uh Airsoft channels that like they play in like Europe and stuff, and it's actually it looks pretty fun. Like they don't take it overly seriously, and they like just dick around and shoot each other. It looks fun as hell. And then you go to America, and they're all just mill simming, and I'm just like, nah. I want to have a YouTuber bull riding competition. I would not take part in that. I'm good, bro. Just be death competition. Who dies fastest? Voting. Actually, off you know what? I'm down. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I'll die. I don't even know if I would be able to get on the bull. I think the bull the would get on would you. Ride McNasty, yeah. <laughs> you just be the bull. <laughs> yeah, we don't even need a real bull. Everyone just ride McNasty. <laughs> I am so down. Oh my god, of course you are. <laughs> okay. Okay, by the way. You want me to like crab walk while you ride me? <laughs> <laughs> he wants you to walk like that one bitch from fucking... What horror movie is that? When the she's garage like, or whatever? Like, yeah, the garage. Yeah. Walking down the stairs, that's McNasty, cock out. <laughs> Dude, did oh. you guys ever play crab walk kickball as a kid? 
in like gym class. No. Oh, that shit. We didn't so go to fun. special ed school. So. <laughs> <laughs> got to drink your plain milk when you got on your bench. <laughs> I mean, we played some weird stuff, but never crab walk kickball. Yeah, never heard well, of that. Well, it wasn't like, it was like, it was more like crab walk soccer. Where, like, the ball was in the middle, and you'd have to crab walk and kick it into the other team's goal, and you could only crab walk. That when you said kickball, I thought you meant you are playing, like, like, baseball, and you're standing at home yeah, playing no, like, crab no, walk so- into first base, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I had in my head. Can you imagine somebody crab walk speeding from first to second base? Like... <laughs> Oh, they're you know, still like everybody in the field the is like crab walking too. Crab walking. <laughs> How do you even slide? Just I mean, like quick little puttering, just <laughs> all their leg. Oh, that is fucking deep fried as shit. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird thing. Yeah, no. Did you guys I play dodgeball? Oh, oh yeah, we dude. played dodgeball. Were you that guys always... allowed to hit other people in the head with the ball on the other team? No, but yeah, we no. would do it anyway. We dude, that was the worst much. part. It's like fuck this pussy shit, dude. You're telling me if I sling this ball and nail someone in the head that I'm out? <laughs> How's that fair? Oh, really? They wouldn't. They wouldn't tell us yes. where out. They would just like blow the whistle and be like, "Watch your throw," and then you'd throw no, it. Yeah. We would be out. Again. That's so stupid. So I'd like nail some fucking. I'm not gonna say what I was about to say. I'd nail someone <laughs> that was uh, lesser in physique. Oh, like on the nerd. other team. A woman. So, yeah, sure. We'll go with that. <laughs> and then I would be out. Like a D&D player? But I wouldn't even mean to. Like, I wouldn't do it on purpose. I'd just be slinging the ball. And then I'm oh, right. I, I would 100% do it on purpose. i just mollywop it at people's faces, because why not? Mollywop. Sharkisha. Yaga. I don't know what that is. That oh, sounds fine. like a yogurt brand. Okay, we're just... That went from a conversation to just some nouns. <laughs> <laughs> Arby's. Eat fresh. Dog food. <laughs> Okay. All right. We, okay. No, it's getting to this point. How long have we been going? Line six helix. Okay. Dyson how, how, long have, how long have we been going? Presonus Eris. Studio monitors. <laughs> Make that tell me the number. Great value purified drinking water. <laughs> Are you just reading things on your the desk? Empty guitar box. Fork from my kitchen that I ate chicken breast with before this podcast. Rogue nicotine on demand. A bomb. My driver's license. McNasty, how long have we Ho-nail been going? clippers. Please. Dubra's dildo. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Why is that, that that's room? recorded. <laughs> I think we all know. You just like suck on that when she's, got, she's not home or what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I am off the podcast. Oh. You, you brought, brought it up, up. <laughs> I am. That's, Guys, that's obviously his binky. Off the on. podcast. That's binky. That's you have binky. crossed the line. <laughs> oh Dude, it's my god. It's just a big fat oh. dildo. Oh. <laughs> Spooky dildo. Ooh, Halloween. Ooh. Yeah, where did all Halloween. The, where did all the stains go? He sucked them off. McCassie, how long have we been going? I want to I want to go I want to go home. Uh, not long Think enough. protein bar. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I'll fill the time. <laughs> That's the worst news I've ever heard. All Used right, Amazon a, gift card. What is another topic? Okay, I have, I have a question. Have you guys ever experienced like something extraterrestrial? Like, have you ever thought that you saw like something? You know? Um, uh, not not really. Which no. is kind of weird because I look at like the stars a lot. Like that's a pretty normal thing I do. It's just like stargazing. It's just nice, mm. but. I really haven't seen anything like crazy. I've seen like a fuck ton of like shooting stars and like yeah, all that. Seeing kind of a stuff, shooting star is cool, especially like when you don't. When you're just like driving down the street and you just you're just like sitting. And all of a sudden, you see boom, like fly across the sky. Mm-hmm. It's, like, super. Yeah, cool I used to see them all no. the time when I'd go for walks in the summer. Is it uh, it's pretty epic. But yeah, no, I haven't seen like anything like I've never seen something and been like, oh my god, that's a UFO. I like when you go out like um, if you go on the forest somewhere. Like I feel like Soup can probably just see this all the time, but here like. Living in a big city, you can't really see much stars in the sky because just no, the light from the city. But like when you go like way up high in the mountains or something, you just see like you just look in the sky. And first of all, you see every fucking star, but you could just see like stars like falling. It's not like a shooting star; it's just like a star is just like moving fast. You know? Yeah, you can oh. see that kind of shit here all the time, yeah. Yeah, dude. It'll can, be uh, like yeah. it'll be late at night, but like I'm so like high up, kind of on a hill where I am, that like the horizon will just be like pinkish orange really? like nine o'clock at night are you people. seeing like 
the Milky Way or something or sunset, bro. Oh, fucking or sunset. Oh, sunset. Oh, oh sunset. no, you can see you can see the Milky Way if you look up in a lot of places. <laughs> oh yeah, we're in the Milky Way. I can look at the ground. Uh, yeah. Yes, we are in the Milky Way, but you can Whoa. actively see towards the center. Because <laughs> if you, you think, look not towards the center, do you think there's a galaxy if, out there called the two percent Milky Way? The smaller, yeah, bite size, like <laughs> skim milk, almond milk Milky Way, the Homo Milky Way, Milky Way galaxy. Where are we in the world? Dot gov. That's crazy to that God named a cluster of solar systems after a candy bar. God. God. <laughs> Allah, you offended Blarg. Come on. Oh, sorry, Allah. <laughs> uh, Do we know if there's any the galaxies worst. outside of the Milky Way galaxy? Yes, there's brother. Andromeda. And was that was that a meme? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is like infinite, like really? space is Actually, forever no, no. moving. Yeah, space is like forever moving outward still. Well, I knew, I know, the... I knew that they like thought that there were, but I didn't know if there was like confirmed. Oh, oh yeah, no, there, like, oh, yeah, there, no, there is like, like literally infinite to our understanding. If the world um, lasts for three billion years, 3. if there's still like, if there's still existence by then the andromeda galaxy is going to run into us and just well we're them. we're already 3.4 billion years old yeah so i was saying like they, they calculated between it. like three to four billion years, oh yeah the yeah andromeda no, galaxy we, is we'll, gonna run into no us. We'll, we'll pass through it but nothing will happen like other than how it looks when you look up in this like in the prove sky it. like nothing will be different in terms like nothing will smash into each other or anything prove it if the andromeda galaxy and milky way collide there's going to be massive massive like catastrophic explosions no prove there it. won't at all I don't think you understand how vast space is. Literally, if they pass through each other, almost nothing would happen. You might have a few, but like nothing would just like. I don't think you, like, that is a really bad movie trick of like. Flat. Oh my god, we got to go through like an asteroid field and we. Gravity is them. made by the government. Asteroid fields are like literally millions space of miles real. apart. Yeah. Like Moon nothing would happen faked. if we passed through Andromeda. COVID's a stump by the government to recharge the batteries <laughs> in the birds. What are you guys talking hey, about? It's just created by the government to kill all the sex. Uh, I, are you guys I, hosting your own podcast right now? What's going on? I think that I think I, I think so. No I no no no. Keep talking. The two mad podcast over there. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys are just arguing over. I don't even. I wasn't know. arguing. I was explaining something. Yeah. You, you, guys are, you, guys, you guys are. You guys are talking, talking about, like, about Galaxy talking gonna hit it. No, it not. Galaxy gonna hit it. No, it not. Yeah, Galaxy gonna hit it. No, it not. And so. Soup and I are over here spitting straight facts while you yeah, guys are talking just... about theoreticals. We're talking facts over here. <laughs> exactly. God, I so, hope YouTube takes this podcast down for it, bad information. Stupid. Stupidity. <laughs> I hope we get a channel strike just, and it's your what, fault. No way you're keeping this on YouTube. This is dumb. See, I, I, I always thought that the Milky Way was like so big that we couldn't like see outside of it so we've no we can seen, we can see oh, we out can. of it we've only easily. found like planets that are in the milky way L looking up you see all of them. you can see out of the milky way easily like a good chunk of the stars you'll probably see where you are are not in the milky way at all and like is you can see, you're looking at other galaxies is, is beetlejuice in the milky way or is that in another galaxy the man i don't i don't know. i think he's <laughs> i think he's, <laughs> no, he's in the ground right now you just gotta say his name three times he'll come out <laughs> okay Oh, are you talking? Okay, never mind. What do you think I'm talking about? The star? Okay, no, it is. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if Beetlejuice is. <laughs> what the fuck galaxy. do you think I'm talking about? I actually don't you know, know what Beetlejuice one. is. The movie? No, I know, but why would you think that's what oh. I'm talking about when we're on the topic you, of space? Thought, no, I thought you were just trying to make a really shitty segue back into Halloween stuff. <laughs> I was like, all right, I guess. <laughs> no, Beetlejuice. Ooh. <laughs> no, like, like, shot no. Beetlejuice out of this galaxy. Wait, wait, don't say his name again. <laughs> don't fucking say his name again. I swear oh, to God. Oh, no, one more time. <gasps> Beetlejuice. They, oh, they, put, him, they put him on the Tesla that they shot him to space. Fuck you, Beetlejuice. <laughs> okay. All right, he left. Uh, no. I want to die. I want to die. Now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that is Somebody a please help me. take a piss in my toilet. Uh, and he's not, and he's gonna pee on the seat. He's not even gonna wipe it off. Oh, what a douchebag, Michael Keaton, no. you motherfucker! You guys wipe your pee off the seat, babies. <laughs> I let I don't my pee on the seat. Like a fine wine. <laughs> I, I put the seat up when I pee. I don't, I don't sits. Nasty, I don't know about you, you guys. Wait, do you guys I, stand up to wipe? Yes. No. Yes, I do. What? Yep. I, dude, dude, I've heard. Uh, listen, Blarg, I've heard recently a lot for some reason. That people stand up to wipe after they do do Why? stinky. Always. I remember uh, Carson. What? You, what don't Carson you have like, to, like tweeted that or something. Don't you have to like spread your something. asshole apart? Like what? Dude, how the how fuck? Do you, I feel like it would get so messy. No, it's the same thing. You just wipe. What yeah, do you mean? You just wipe. Yeah. Do you like crouch down? No. Yeah, well, I kind of like. No, you just stand there and you like. Do you just like slob squat? <laughs> You're when telling you... me I can stand straight up and just wipe. 
up the crack bro, of my ass. I've always how, done it that way. How soft is your ass, bro? I, I'd have to like pull my cheeks apart. Well, yeah. yeah, you have to you have to like pull the I pull my left cheek out a little bit yeah. since we're getting technical right. about it. Well, you want to know my technique? Why well, would you just so sit down? Sit work. down. And Wait, well, so how do you easier. know when you're done if you're sitting down? You tell me you your, your shit <laughs> stops coming yeah. out of your ass. Every, every time I wipe, I look at the toilet paper. No. And I'm like, okay, it's right, not. right. So that's what I'm saying. So, so you're saying you're sticking your your hand in the toilet, wiping it, pulling it out of the toilet, looking at it, and putting it back in the toilet. So, so when when you're standing up, you just wipe, you look at it, and you throw it in the toilet. It's like half the steps are gone. Yeah. It's so much easier. <laughs> but you have to spread your asshole with your hand. <laughs> Well, I kind of yeah. spread it. I spread it with the hand that I have the toilet paper on. I kind of like use my thumb to pull what? my ass cheek open, and then How? I and then I well, I keep like the toilet paper on like my four fingers, and then I use like my thumb to kind of pull. Dude, the, you pull gotta show me this technique in person when we hang out. <laughs> I'm definitely not doing that. We always end up on the fucking like top <laughs> shit. Of the shit. <laughs> now, like how we go from talking about like galaxies and bro, if they collide, dude, there's no way that they'll be damaged. To how, yeah, do you how, wipe how you wipe your, poop, your ass? How do you wipe your ass, bro? How do you get rid of poop? Oh, how are you doing? <laughs> so what are your like a, NASA, a NASA meeting right now. We can't. We can fuck. never last very long on intelligence. Yeah. It always collapses eventually. <laughs> eventually. Uh, <laughs> well, thank you for proving the point there, dude. <laughs> well, that is. Dude, was, I don't. Uh, the way you're describing that makes no sense to me, whatever, whatsoever. I, I just whatever. I do it. Well, the thing is, I don't stand <laughs> perfectly straight up when I wipe my ass. I bend over. Uh, I just oh, feel yeah. like you're just. I just feel like that's <laughs> annoying. It's just it, it. Wiping your ass is something that just like you do one you way when you're younger, down. and you just stick with it forever. It just becomes like a natural yeah. way. And hearing other ways of people that the way they've developed wiping their ass is just like that. Just seems so abnormal to you. But to yourself, your jack -off it technique? just feels so just. <laughs> have you guys ever shit in the woods? Yeah, no, I have. No. I've only yeah. ever McNasty, pissed in the woods. Nasty shit on a school, so. I shit. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, I talked yeah, about this on the right. podcast one time. Where yeah, I, you yeah, wiped your ass on the side of a building. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I, I, it was during sixth grade <laughs> camp. School. I had to shit that on. A, not even a, just a building. I had to shit on a Poor hike asshole. with a class, and I, I took a piece of homework back behind a tree and wiped my ass with the homework. I'm pretty sure I talked about this. Turn it in. No. No, I didn't. You are, you are the worst. <laughs> I growing up, I had the worst shitting problems. Like there was, there was a time where I don't know if I talked about this on the podcast either, but I it there changed. was, a, there was a, a time when I was playing little league, and I was outfield, <laughs> and the 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 for mm -hmm. some reason the little league game was getting recorded by like a news team or something. Like it was being put on like some Did kind you of shit yourself on live TV. No, no, but I was out in the middle of the oh. field, and I kept. I had to shit so bad. I just could not resist. Like, I, my dad was sitting on the sidelines. He was sitting on like the side area in like a fucking camping chair or whatever. I was just like, Dad, Dad. He was like, Stop fucking talking to me. <laughs> I was just like, Dad, I had to shit. <laughs> I was just like, I had to like leave the game and go shit. <laughs> Yeah, so You're many literally the worst person. I was a terrible, terrible child. So, have you so guys bad. ever been on like TV for anything? No. I know uh, yeah, Blark has. Cheese my dog. Yeah, I know. I know yeah. you've been on there for your little cheese dog. A thing, couple of uh, a couple of the games, like when I used to play competitive hockey, they used to like sometimes stream the games on TV. So I no. guess there's that. Uh, yeah, other than having this shit in the middle of that little league game, I don't think I've ever been on TV. I was on ESPN one time. Really? What? Why? Yeah. Uh, I was playing You're baseball. You're just like waving in the background. No, I was on. I was playing baseball, and one of my buddies like made this insanely good catch in the outfield, and I'm like freaking out. <laughs> and you can see me. Really? That's actually field. kind of yeah. cool. I had people tweeting at me. They were like, "I seen you on ESPN tonight." It was on like the top ten. <laughs> it was like top the ten fuck? plays. How long of the day ago or... was it? It was probably like uh, God. When was that? Maybe like five years ago. Oh. Hmm. Four or five. Yeah, I forget that you're not like our age. <laughs> right. I, you've only been a few years outside of high school. Well, you're 21 yeah, now, right? Well, yeah, it would have been four years ago. I'm 22. I'll, I'm oh, actually, 22. my birthday is coming up. Same. So 20, the 29th. Yeah, me and Paul. Yeah. We're going to kiss on the oh, man. Yeah, I forget that you guys have the same birthday. It's weird. Fuck Puffer and Crispy. Yep. They have the birthday it's too. Saying that three of us have the same birthday. Yeah. Huh. That's crazy. I don't know if I don't know if Crispy does on the same day or not. It might be his might be the thirtieth. Uh, regardless, I'll still kiss. But yeah, him still, same deal. Close enough. Me, Blarg, and Puffer all have the same birthday. 
Yep. Okay, have you guys ever had any gay experiences? No. Do I'll leave this one for you. <laughs> that I love that transition. Yeah. So like, that's cool birthday. What about so, like a like, spooky gay ever? experience? You know? Oh! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> huh? well, this, well, this one time, I was just laying in my bed, and I felt an object enter my butthole. It felt really good, but there was no one there. Must have been you. Maybe you rolled over Duber's dildo on accident. <laughs> I am off the podcast. <laughs> Yes. You're the one that fucking brought it up. You you're did the, do that, dude. You're the one that talks about yourself being gay all the I'm time. I'm allowed to talk about my mother's dildo, not you. Oh, I no, that's, that's wrong. Weird. Colonel Sanders, that's wrong. Boy. <laughs> Colonel Sanders. <laughs> this, this is the worst podcast. How does anybody this one wasn't listen so to bad. this? We talked about spooky stuff and the scary Halloween. Spooky <laughs> stuff, and then space, and then ESPN, and, and then gay problems. experiences. Yeah, yeah, that's a podcast, dude. You talk about random shit. That's just be the yeah. title, like four hundred words. Blarg wants this to be like, like all facts about like no. astronomy and like serious no. lick, reporting and stuff. Like my fucking backball. Oh, did sure. you guys find? Did you guys hear they found out like a new refinable grade of like plutonium, dude? Oh, it's so crazy, like. Dude, like they can like split atoms in like it's a new crazy. way. It's like cleaner air and stuff. And like, <laughs> it's crazy what three IQ difference makes. How do you wipe your <laughs> ass? <laughs> we did talk about that. Yeah, I actually would like to talk about that more if you guys don't mind. Sure. Okay. So McNasty, the thumb technique. <laughs> do you Does get thumb shit on your in? thumb often? Yeah. Seriously, uh, no. Does your thumb ever just slip into your butthole? Like ninety like, percent of my shit is just <laughs> solid, smooth. There's no like leftover <laughs> gunk. <laughs> just ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yo, okay. y'all ever be wiping and like a finger break? <laughs> I should never mind. I shouldn't a say. A finger that. breaks through <laughs> and you moan. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just gonna say you a break finger breaks finger through and you wiping. change your sexuality. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was along those lines. Anyway, a few times. Mm. What? Okay, good, good. Y'all ever jack it with a thumb up your butt? All right, I think that's a good note to end the podcast <laughs> on. Let's, uh... All right, Please uh, end this podcast. That's the... Ooh, the Spooky Goose spooky Podcast. podcast. Ooh, ooh, leave a like or you will be haunted. Leave a like or you're gonna get haunted. Ooh, subscribe ooh, or a ghost like. gonna fuck your butt. Ooh, ooh.